Hello and welcome to this uh, short introductory lesson on creating an Exchange Server 2010 training lab. I'm just going to quickly go through some of the basic components uh, that will make up your Exchange Server uh, 2010 training lab. The first one is the hardware. Uh, so you'll need some kind of hardware to run your training lab environment on. It has to be 64-bit capable uh, because Exchange 2010 is 64-bit uh, only software. Uh, it also has to be virtualization ready, so your processor has to be capable of uh, uh, doing virtualization if you're planning to run your Exchange Server uh, lab environment using virtualization software. And I also recommend, uh, if possible, that you have um, lots of memory in your system. So um, if you're looking at spending a few dollars to improve uh, one of your computers so that you can run your training lab for Exchange Server 2010, memory is one of the best places that you can spend uh, that money to improve it. Now the software that we'll be using in Exchange Server 2010 training lab uh, is all available as uh, trial versions from Microsoft. You can get time limited trial versions of both Windows Server 2008 R2 as well as uh, Exchange Server 2010 itself. Um, and uh, but if you want to run your software for longer, uh, one of the best ways to get access to all of that software is through a TechNet subscription. So uh, that's how I get access to all of my Microsoft software for training purposes. Um, TechNet subscription is uh, relatively low cost um, and gives you access for 12 months for that one subscription fee uh, to all of the um, software such as Windows Server, um, Windows 7, uh, Exchange, SQL and other things that are very useful uh, when you're doing a lot of training. As far as virtualization platforms go, if you are planning to virtualize, you've got a few options. Um, there's Microsoft Hyper-V, which is what I use in some of my training lab environments. Um, very simple to set up and um, of course it's uh, free from Microsoft or if you have a TechNet subscription you can use uh, full-blown Windows Server 2008 R2 uh, with Hyper-V installed. Uh, VMware's also got some options there which um, uh, can be a little bit trickier to set up in my experience. Um, but if you're familiar already with VMware, then by all means uh, go that way. And another good option for uh, running virtualization just on a, a regular computer or laptop is a product called VirtualBox, which is uh, completely free and will let you run uh, virtualized 64-bit guest machines, unlike some other products. Um, with the uh, Exchange Bootcamp training uh, program that, that uh, I'll be taking you through, uh, VirtualBox will be what I'll be using to run uh, the boot camp uh, from my perspective and I'll be demonstrating how to set that up. Now the minimum lab environment that you'll need uh, to go through uh, the training that's in the Exchange 2010 boot camp is at least one server um, and that server can be installed as a domain controller and then have Exchange 2010 installed on top of it which is not best practice. Uh, the best practice is to avoid that scenario um, but you know, this is a, a training lab environment, so you can um, uh, ignore some best practices uh, in some cases if you don't have the resources to run separate servers. And uh, if possible, run at least one client computer as well so that you can run a uh, full version of Outlook and do some of the client uh, testing as well. Uh, if you don't have a lot of memory in your system, um, probably better to go with Windows XP for the client rather than Windows 7 because Windows XP will run quite well uh, on uh, very low memory such as only about 256 meg. Now if you've got a little bit more hardware at your disposal, uh, a better lab environment would be to separate those domain controller uh, and exchange server roles out onto separate servers. So uh, if you can afford that from a, a resources perspective, I certainly recommend it and uh, at least one comp client computer again if possible. But, you know, if you've got uh, really no limits on the resources that are available to you, you can build whatever size lab environment you like to do these, um, to do these training lessons. You can uh, have dedicated domain controllers. You can split out your Exchange server roles uh, onto dedicated servers. Um, run an ISA server for internet publishing. Uh, I've used a product uh, called Viata Router to simulate a WAN as well, so you can have head office and branch office type scenarios. So you're really only limited by your own hardware. Um, if you have the resources to throw at it, by all means, scale out as much as you like. But to keep things simple for the Exchange Boot Camp, um, like I said, what I'll be doing is using VirtualBox uh, just on my laptop. 
and I'll be installing one server as a domain controller and exchange server. I'll be installing one uh, client computer as well and I'll just be using my TechNet subscription uh, so that I don't have any time limitations uh, that the trial software has.